I'm assuming that you've heard of the name of Southwest Airlines, but I can almost guarantee that majority of the people don't know the man who was responsible for the birth of the airline, Herb Kelleher. Unfortunate news has just surfaced that Mr. Kelleher has passed away at the age of 87. The reason for his death is not currently known, but there is one thing that we can definitely say about him. He was a pioneer, a maverick, and also incredibly passionate for the aviation industry. So Mr. Kelleher was a young lawyer living in Texas before leaving his firm to start Southwest in the 1960s, with the goal of providing low-cost transportation within Dallas and also San Antonio. His startup company was strong and he was doing almost everything right, and he started to catch the attention of fellow airlines. Trans Texas and also Continental Airlines started to fight Southwest to keep it out of the skies with a temporary restraining order. Kelleher personally fought against the ban without charging a penny in legal fees because at the end of the day he was a lawyer, all the way to the Supreme Court of Texas which eventually ruled in the favour of Southwest. The company which has become known for its cheap fares, lack of seating assignments and old coach cabins began flying in 1971. They evolved into a driving force in the airline industry with routes all over the United States. Despite the legal battles which were going on in the background, with Mr. Kelleher at the realm, this wasn't really an issue. For the first time they became profitable and their business strategy has become the reason for their tremendous growth even till this day. At one occasion they were forced to fly an empty plane back to Dallas for the weekend servicing and they took advantage of that opening and pricing tickets at only $10. In the space of a few weeks, this service was flying without an empty seat. They didn't focus too much on advertising and PR because they believed that what they had to offer was unique and it would spread for word of mouth and surely it did because their competition were forced to decrease their prices also. But to many people the airline is seen as a cold-blooded and ruthless. They approach new airports and literally flood them and ask for cheap landing and gate slots. This is also a major reason that overall fares dropped in the new markets. They still continue to have an impact when they enter a new airport. For example, after they began their service to Baltimore International in 1993, fares dropped by 70% and passenger traffic increased sevenfold. The company then started flying to Denver in January 2006 and they now have 141 daily departures from there. Frontier Airlines, which is also based in Denver, was wedged between Southwest and also rising fuel costs and unfortunately they couldn't keep up. Even throughout their long history it's been a tough ride for them. Many airlines in the US have adopted a similar strategy to that of Southwest Airlines, but it seems like they always end up on top. By 1982 they were able to expand to more than 22 new cities. Just under 7 years later in 1989 they finally crossed $1 billion in revenue. By that time, they were carrying more than 30 million customers a year and they became the 7th largest airline in the US. As of 2018, the airline has approximately 57,000 employees and they serve more than 4,000 flights per day. They're also recognized as an airline that carry the most domestic passengers of any US airline. So this dream, this passion which Mr. Kelleher had, has grown into a gigantic force within the US market. There are very few people that have a huge positive effect on the world, but if you believe yourself to be truly special, then you will find yourself to be in that group of special people.